Below is a Stripe screenshot showing over a million dollars of cash collected and management fee from our clients over the past several years. The first lesson I learned is that making a million dollars takes more will than you can possibly imagine. The number of times I simply repeated the mantra to myself when I was first starting out over the first one or two years of being a business owner is that being successful in business is simply about managing failure and frustration because it feels like that is all there is at the beginning. The second thing I learned is that despite that constant frustration, you will begin getting benefits of being a successful entrepreneur right from the beginning when you start. For example, even when I was making very little money, I was always one of the more interesting people in the room because I was someone who had quit his cushy corporate job to start his own business. This made me interesting. This made me have more deep conversations with people about life and freedom and the path that we choose. I remember the joy of closing my first client, which was a $400 website deal split between me and my business partner at the time. And I had no idea how amazing that would have felt. And those wins along the way, although they may have been small when measured in dollars and cents, gave me enough feedback, dopamine, excitement to withstand the frustration that was happening most of the time. Lesson number three is that client retention is essential. There's so much content out on the internet right now talking about how to acquire clients, and there's not nearly enough people talking about how to retain clients. 60 to 70% of my first million dollars has been made from long-term clients that have stayed on monthly retainers for multiple years in a row. More than anything, it was my client retention ability that allowed me to make a million dollars. Lesson number four is that you can't do it alone. There's an African proverb where it says, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. And that is so true in entrepreneurship. Many times when things were hard, it was the people in my life, the fellow entrepreneurs, the fellow warriors on the path that made it so it was unthinkable for me to quit and go back to get a job. It was unthinkable to succumb to defeat in the eyes of these new peers that I had made in the, the midst of this new social circle and life that I was a part of. It wasn't just about a successful business. It was about an entire lifestyle and who I was and who I would spend time with. And one thing I was certain of is that my new entrepreneur friends were far more interesting, nourishing, and rewarding than my previous corporate job friends were. And I didn't want to let them down. And I didn't want to be the guy that quit and was no longer part of the entrepreneur club. And I think this is really, really important. And if you live in a city where there's no other entrepreneurs and people don't understand what you're doing, I would fully recommend moving cities and moving somewhere where people are with you alongside you in the trenches. They don't have to be working on the same business. They don't have to have equity in your company. Just friends who are walking the same path as you is going to make a big difference. And finally, this is a game of consistency. Consistency is everything. People need to pick a vehicle, a business model, and stick with it for years until it is successful. Something I talk about often is that people get patience all wrong. They are patient before starting their business. They wait for everything to be perfect, for the mortgage to be paid off, for the stars to align. And they take so long to start. And then once they start their business, they expect to be rich within six months. And when they don't get that result, they get discouraged and quit. It needs to be the opposite. You should be impatient to start your business. Start right away. Start right now. Start today after watching this video. And then be very patient once you start. Give yourself multiple years before the business needs to be successful and to give you the financial freedom that you want. I've been running my business for over eight years now, and I'm still just at the beginning. I have another 40 to 50 years left of running multiple businesses of being an entrepreneur. You're not in as big of a rush as you think you are. That's it for this video, gentlemen. Drop me a comment below, and I'll see you next time.